welcome back to the channel and today another kind of things to remember type of video i've already uploaded a couple of these with helpful tips for new players and hopefully this will be something just to keep in the back of your mind as you're going through all the things so if this does help make sure you hit the like button subscribe if you're new around here leave me a comment down below tell me what your backgrounds and your traits were for starting this game if you are new but these are very quick tips so it's not gonna be a particularly long video because i don't want to make all long videos but these are things that you kind of need to know but don't realize until too late and the first one is pretty simple whenever you go to a planet check the gravity now this might not seem important to you but checking the gravity can help you for getting to places so let's say you got like a, a high up ledge that you need to get to if it's low grav you're going to get there easier low gravity also means that you get more boost attempts through the sky if you've got the boost pack but also as well it can help you with your um, damage on fall because sometimes you fall if you don't know the gravity you might panic checking gravity and knowing that it's low grav and you won't hurt yourself when you fall is a big plus um it's not something you really think about but when you do start to think about it it actually really is helpful next up we have favoriting your weapons and and healing items which is very important so as you're going through all your weapons list and such things you can see in the bottom right corner it says favorite so what you could do is you press favorite and it brings up this um option for you to apply these weapons to specific directions or like a, a, a you know if you're on pc it's going to be a little bit easier to select them but what you could do as well is put health on them so if i go here that's my med pack so when i'm in the middle of a fight and i've lost a bunch of health i don't have to go into the inventory i can just press left and press the a button straight away i don't have to move over to it or anything like that this is a grenade that i didn't want on there but i just don't know how to remove it without putting something else on there and i don't have something else at the moment down here is going to be my melee weapons even though i rarely use them and then over here is going to be like my typical guns that i'm using on a daily basis right now and then i've obviously got my cutter up here which isn't needed to be on the favorites but i leave it there to remind myself not to delete it or sell it and then i'm going to have um, some elemental weapons up here i do have this incendiary modified beowulf but it's a little bit weak for me now um but th those are the kinds of things you can do with setting favorite you can make healing and getting your weapons out way more efficient with this so make sure you're doing it next up we have saving the game now i know this sounds silly but coming up to varying events or big moments you might want to save the game before you do it because if anything goes wrong you can also reload and do it again i found this to be very helpful with persuasion games on things that i really wanted to persuade or lock picking lock picking is a big one so before you use a lock pick save the game and until you kind of learn the, the lock picking game it can be a bit difficult at first so you're going to lose a lot of digi picks and there's not that many you can actually get out in the wild you have to buy them so if you want to save your digi picks just save the game and reload it when you fail and just keep doing that until you unlock it one thing to remember is that ammo doesn't have mass so any ammo that you see or find regardless of whether you're using it or not pick it up buy ammos if you really want to as well because chances are you'll end up getting a weapon that uses a rarer type of ammo and then you won't have any to use like this one here i don't i rarely use this right now but i know i'm going to need it in the future some of these have got like 15 bullets but i'm going to keep them in case i do get a weapon so ammos are very important to pick up and make sure that you are stacking them up Another little short thing you can do, a little bit of an addition, like a last minute addition, is remove your helmets without actually removing your helmet. So if you go into your inventory and down to your equipped helmet, which is this one for me, the Mantis, in the bottom it says hide helmet in breathable areas. If you press that and it reads at the bottom show helmet, that means that you have now removed that helmet while still having it equipped. And as you can see, you can see my beautiful face. I found that some of the kind of um, helmets look a bit odd, look a bit weird. And I took mine off and feel just so much better about it. The game just feels a lot more fun, weirdly enough. Um, so yeah, try it out. Another thing to remember is that notes and books can lead to other quests. Now it's rare, but it does happen. I picked up a book and read it and it allowed me to have a quest to go visit Earth, like a, a, an Earth based quest. So reading notes is very important too because there's a quest for the Mantis armor, the armor you just saw me wearing, and a brand new ship for free. It's a little bit of a lengthy legendary quest and the guide to it is on this channel. I'll try to remember to link it down below. But reading that note is the only way to get that quest. 
so you want to be looking at notes looking at books and things of that nature if you pick up books you can drop them on the floor or you can sell them sometimes they're worth a little bit of money but a lot of the times you can't stop yourself picking them up so make sure you're throwing them out of your inventory if they don't give you anything specific right now we're in space and you can make your ship third person and this is the last little tip that i will show you it's about the little icons we see on the bottom left and how you can change how your um ship performs so this last one over here is your grav jump if you have more points into grav jump it means that you can jump further to different systems but it's also a faster jump so instead of like waiting six seconds it'll be instant and you can just go straight away grab jump i usually just put one in for the most part because not everything's so close to you at the start of the game you don't really need to think about it when i'm in a fight i take that out of the grab completely and i go and put it into my weapons so missile here is obviously your missiles that you fire when you're locked onto someone they do big damage i tend not to put too much into missiles because these two are the most important ones in my opinion they are your lasers and your weapon to take down the enemy shield um so these are your lasers and the more points you have in lasers the more damage they do and the longer they last for they don't use as much ammo before they run out same with the par which is basically your ability to take down enemy shields so if you was to throw this in and fire these they last longer they fire a little bit faster i believe but they also take down the shield of the enemy fires very very quickly now obviously it's very difficult to change these on the fly in the middle of a fight but I tend to just go with three and three at first. And then when I'm taking things out of like shields, um, sorry, out of grav, I, 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 I tend to have shields because if you look, when you have four bars of shield, it gives you a hundred shield in the bottom right hand corner. You take it down, it goes to 75. You take it down, it goes to 50, which means you're just going to die quicker. So I tend to have four shields and have some into my weapons. But engine is also important. The more you have in engine, the faster you move, the faster your boost is. So if we take engine down to one you can see that my maximum speed at the moment is 14 and with a boost the maximum speed is 50 60 ish now when you're in a dogfight and you're getting pummeled you don't really want to be standing still you can because the game's not that advanced in ai but you don't really want it to be happening so if i take everything out of everything and put it all into engine you can very much see the difference of how fast you travel so now I'm doing 150 normally and with a boost I'm doing close to five even more close to 600 so you can get around really quickly and dodge people and stuff of that nature so that is very important and it's hard to get used to but you will get used to it I tend to just do three or four in each of these um, maybe one in missile and one in grab drive that's usually my kind of setup obviously each ship has a different amount of um things you can enter the points that you put into it you could get like 25 so you'll have an extra six of what i've got right now there'll be more in shield so you can put like six or seven in shields it all really depends on the ship and how you build it and upgrade it but it's very important to remember these kinds of things when you're in space and that is it that is the things that you should remember when you start playing this game just little things here and there that are just going to help your quality of life and improve so if you're playing the game tomorrow for the first time i hope these little tips help Thank you for watching. I've been easy now. You guys have been awesome.